Hey folks, this is Dr. Desai here. I'm gonna do a short video on how to start an epinephrine infusion. Uh, we will be introducing these epinephrine kits on all the trucks, and this will have basically everything you need, much like our norepinephrine kits that we introduced a few months back. And I just want to go over this with you guys, so if you guys have any questions or concerns, you can address them. Or if you've never done one of these, you'll now have the education to be able to start an epinephrine drip should you ever need one. So the first thing you want to do is open up this kit. Inside, you will find this card uh, that gives you the instructions on how to mix up the drip. And then if you turn it over on the back, you'll have your dosing chart right here and some of the key pointers on starting an epinephrine drip. In addition, you will find a 60 drop set tubing set, an 18 gauge needle, a three milliliter syringe, and then there will be a vial of epinephrine. And this is the one milligram per milliliter vial of epinephrine. It's the same vial that's used for anaphylactic reactions. Uh, this will be inserted into these packs so you don't have to try to find a vial in the bag. In addition to what's in the kit, you will need to secure a one liter bag of normal saline to mix up the epinephrine infusion in. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to take your 3cc syringe, your 18 gauge needle, you're going to drop your epi, and you're going to mix it up in your bag of normal saline. You're going to mix up the bag, you're going to label it. When you put one milligram of epinephrine in a thousand ml bag, that gives you one microgram per milliliter. There will be labels inside of the epinephrine kits that you can stick on the bags. And then you can also write it if you have a Sharpie, one microgram per milliliter on the back of the bag if you so choose to do. Afterwards, you get your 60 drop set, spike your bag. Remember, you have to have a 20 gauge IV access in the AC. It has to be at least a 20 gauge or larger. And you're gonna hook it up to your patient's IV access and you're gonna start it. Epinephrine drips are generally started at two micrograms per minute. And with the 60 drop set in this dilution, that gives you two mics per minute will equal two drops per second or 120 drops a minute, okay? Um, and you can see that your micrograms per minute will basically equal your drops per second. So an epinephrine drip is started at two micrograms per minute so in order to get two micrograms per minute, you're gonna be starting at two drops per second or 120 drops per minute. Three micrograms per minute equals three drops per second or 180, 180 drops per minute. Four mics per minute is four drops per second and so on. All right, um, so that's how you start an epinephrine drip, very simple. And you wanna titrate your drip to maintain a systolic blood pressure of greater than 90. If you guys have any questions, please leave comments below or get in touch with me directly through email or come by my office and we can discuss. Um, this will be a required educational piece. So there will be a, a short test to take on Ninth Brain. And we want everyone educated on this and I want everyone to know how to do this uh, as this will be replacing dopamine. And we will still be carrying norepinephrine on the trucks, but this will be also a second vasopressor infusion if you need it. Thank you.